Hey AD, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Starting off with the main hallway, I'm gonna walk back this way so you can see it. Ignore that bag of clothes. I'm going to, I'm donating some stuff. For the main entry, I didn't want to clutter it up too much with like a, a console table or anything like that. I wanted it to be like a nice, easy breezy walkway. The only thing I'm thinking about adding is a plant right here in this little corner to go along with this picture frame that I have right here. I've had this picture since I was living at my mom's house and I got it from Etsy. Don't worry, I'll have everything that I show you guys linked in the description box below. So if you see anything that you like, everything will be linked down. When you come in from the front door, the first door to your left is going to be the bathroom. Now, I think this is a really nice size bathroom considering that the apartment is teeny tiny. For the longest, these shelves were like really bare really bare i had no idea what i wanted to do with the shelves i had bins back here from ikea that i did not like at all it was white bins like this white bins from ikea that i had just brought from home and i was just trying to use what i had and i had these holding all my makeup but i did not like how it looked over time they started to get really dingy really nasty so just last week i went and got these really beautiful 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 bins um, acrylic bins from container store now people were saying that you can get them from tj maxx and marshall's which i'm fully aware of i just didn't have time to like try to pick and find different things and i am just so happy with how it all looked and turned out up here is kind of like my pr shelf just a bunch of things that i haven't been able to get to or it's like duplicates of everything that's just what's up there then i have you know all my makeup down here i have just like my towels and my dirty clothes i need to get a cuter dirty clothes bin but we'll get to that at a later date and then the shower it just just a regular stand-up shower i okay, so you guys can see hey guys the little ottd this is what we're wearing today a little bit of mesh key okay earrings from mango i'll have that linked in the bio as well right here i did the same thing with my skincare i got some acrylic bins to organize all of it and i feel like it just looks so much better this right here i am so happy i got this i cannot tell you how life-changing it has been just having these little cotton rounds and the q-tips right here available instead of like having to go underneath my sink and get it we are not even look underneath the sink everything on the top is all the skincare that i usually use every day and then everything under here is just other like skincare that i usually don't use on a day-to-day -day basis across the hall from the bathroom is going to be the washer dryer full size if i'm not mistaken a lot of people don't like stackable washer and dryers which i didn't know but i like my little stackable washer and dryer where i feel like it saves some space and it does what it needs to do it washes and dries let's just shift into the kitchen <laughs> considering the size of the studio the kitchen is a really nice space okay so i had my books that i have yet to finish reading any of them <laughs> i like how it has i think the granite countertops i'm like going down with y'all the granite countertops right here i have the dishwasher it's a nice little dishwasher i mean i don't really know what you can say about a dishwasher girl. um i love how it has what is it the deep sink the deep sink is so nice i love the deep sink i love how it has this little how it's like detachable and you can do the two different types of things like i i love my sink i love my sink i i love my sink i don't know why i i just love my sink anyway so i have an electric oven electric stove which i am a gas girl a gas stove type of girl i grew up 29 years at my mom's house using gas so the trash is hidden right here in the um, shelving so it just looks like another like cabinet but it's really the trash which I think is really cute I have a double door double door refrigerator um, and then the freezer is down here like the appliances in this apartment 
are really, really nice. It's one of the things that won me over when I was looking at different apartments here in Dallas. And we're gonna come back to the closet. Now, what I love about the closet, this is what I like about the closet, girl. Like the princess doors or the double doors. Ugh, it's giving luxury. It's giving luxury. I think the closet is actually really, really spacious and I actually put some things in the closet to add some additional space for the things that I needed. This was one of the things that I put into the closet to add some additional space. It's actually a bookshelf. It's like a little mini bookshelf that I put in here and I knew I needed some space for bags and shoes. Now, I had these little light things underneath in here for them to turn on every time I put my hand under there, but the battery died and I stopped caring. So it tees with it tees with that. So I put all the pants up here. Here I have all of my boots and things like that. Shirts and jackets and whatnot at the bottom. Another power that I got, I got it from Pottery Barn Kids, if I'm not mistaken. I have like my sunglasses, just like accessories. I have all my fingernail polish because girl, lots of fingernail polish. I paint my nails, literally, girl. I love doing my own nails. All of my dresses right here. So when I first moved into this apartment, I had like one dress. <laughs> and now I have all of these dresses. And then I just have like some extra books and things up there. Just like storage-ish. Cause I really, I, that's the thing about this apartment, I don't have storage. So like my luggage and my suitcase and whatever, I have to keep it back here. I don't have space, you know, to store luggage. So I can only have one piece of luggage. I'm gonna have to check it until I just get some more space in a new place. Moving on to the living room area, right? So the living room area is literally just this <laughs> right here. I just kind of call it the kitchen living room area, which I spend a lot of my time in. Pretty much you can see like the entirety of the kitchen and it just looks I forgot to show you guys um, my rug in the kitchen. So a lot of people were like, why would you put a rug <laughs> underneath an island? But I really felt like it made it cozy. Mind you, I need to clean it. I have no idea how to clean this big old rug, but I feel like it just makes the space look so much more cozy, so much more homey. And I got it on sale, okay? Black Friday sale. It was only $100 from Urban Outfitters. So it's a win-win, okay? So this mirror, I got from Crate and Barrel Outlet, you guys. The mirror was originally 800 bucks. I had been eyeing it for forever. I wanted it forever. And then I went to Crate and Barrel Outlet, saw it for $200. Snatched it up with the quickness. Snatched it up with the quickness. Okay, so this I used to have in my closet. My little shoe and handbag tower. I also have like some accessories and fragrance over there. I used to keep this in my closet where the dresses were, but again, I just had the dresses just started to overflow. So I had to, <laughs> I had to move it out, which I actually like it out here by the, by the mirror, because when I film and stuff, I think it makes it look a little bit more cute. So the dress, y'all get into the dress, get into the dress, get into the dress, get into the body, get into the body, get into the body. And the dress okay girl so this is meshki this is one of their newer collections that they just came out with earrings are from mango i think they're so cute really really classy girl it's giving classy it's giving housewife okay it's giving okay it's giving elegance moving on to the bedroom den anyway y'all please i know my bed is like struggle bus i do not know where to buy cute sheets for a bed that aren't an arm and a leg. I know where you can get some cute sheets that I just don't want to spend an arm and a leg on bed sheets. The bed frame is from Wayfair, if I'm not mistaken, but don't worry, everything will be linked. Coming off to the right side of the kitchen, I think. I just love this little nook of the apartment right here. I found this mirror in Home Goods, and I had been eyeing a mirror from West Elm for probably since I moved here and I'm like, oh my gosh, the mirror was so cute, but it was just too big. So one day when I was looking for some artwork, I found this mirror in Home Goods, and I fell in love, I fell in love. I went home and thought about it because I'm trying to stop impulsive shopping, but I came back and she was still there and I just, I had to get her. I had to get her and bring her home. And I thought I was gonna hang her up, but I love it, I love it sitting on top of this dresser. So right here I have my little bowl, which is where I just put 
all of my knickknacks for like where I put my purse, like everything that I put into my purse every day, I throw it into here so I can just easily empty that right here and then put my purse up. The dresser is from Ikea, clearly you can tell it's from Ikea. The dresser's from Ikea, so is this one as well. My TV, which I literally just got a TV four months ago. I've been living in this place for a year and I literally just got a TV four months ago. I never used to watch TV. Dresser is from Ikea, like I said, and I wanted to get the glass top on my dresser so that's what i added so coming off to the uh, left side of the dresser it's just going to be this cute little painting now i used to have this painting in my closet because i wanted my closet to feel like a boutique so i had the painting in there because i wanted it to feel very boutique-ish but i actually love how it looks all together like it just makes this living room part just look so like put together like so cohesive so you know next is going to be this little baby right here there's a story behind this couch okay there is a infamous story behind this couch so again when you go to crate and barrel outlet which is where i bought my mirror you buy things as is and it's incredibly discounted and some of the stuff might be damaged some of the stuff might be overstock so they'll discount it to get rid of it because it's damaged or because it's in perfectly good condition but it's just um overstock they have too much so they have to get rid of it which is what happened with my mirror girl oh i got so lucky with that mirror i'm gonna stop talking about it and it's not even a full couch okay it's a part of the couch it's a section of the couch and it was very much an impulse buy it was only 99 dollars 99 dollars and i was like oh yes it has this little stain right here or they said it's like a rub burn so when they tied it down to transport it the belt that they had rubbed off the velvet or something like that i thought well you know what it's only 99 dollars. it's my first apartment why not y'all when i tell you that was a good 99 dollars spent i love this thing it's so comfortable i love how it has this little back right here i come and just sit here talk on the phone here i edit here and every time i go look at pieces of sectional couches they're still like eight hundred dollars nine hundred dollars like this same piece at crate and barrel for this section of the couch is like 8.99 the delivery of this couch y'all i'm gonna link i'm gonna like tag the video somewhere because the, the delivery how they delivered this couch was ridiculous it was so ridiculous <laughs> it was the most ridiculous thing ever last but not least is this rug i got it during black friday sale and for the longest i said that that was an impulse buy that i shouldn't have done and i didn't like it and da 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 but honestly 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 i like it I like it now. I like it because I feel like it just makes the space look so much more homey and put together. The chairs, you know, the couch, the bed, the all that, that's the outfit. But when you start adding like a rug and like a mirror, flowers, artwork, that's the accessories that really make everything looks so put together and so much more homey because before I had all this on the wall, it was just looking very plain Jane and I really was like, ugh, like I just didn't, it didn't feel, the apartment just felt cold, if that makes sense. And I really was like, ugh, dreading being here. I was like, oh, I wanna move, I wanna move. But now that I've started accessorizing my place, just putting things on the wall, adding flowers to really add warmth to this place, it really feels like a home. And I've just been in such a state of gratitude for my space no matter how big no matter how small yes people have more but people have less like i'm just so grateful for my little space so yeah like i'm just really really happy with how things have turned out in my little studio apartment you guys doing a little spin through so you guys can see it in its entirety i mean this is my home. This is my home. This is all me. I'm 30 years old. This is my first place ever. My very first home. This place will be special to me always. Always be special to me because there is just such a story and a journey behind it. And this is where it all started. This is where a lot of you found me, you know, when I moved into this apartment. And I'm probably gonna do like a one year update just about what I've learned living on my own the first year and things like that. It's my place, this is my 
furnished, fully furnished studio apartment. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and just coming with me on this journey. If you are new here, if this is your first time ever seeing me, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Join the family. Also, I just started a member subscription. Become a member where you get exclusive access to videos, live streams. I know y'all love the live streams. Live streams, badges, and different things like that. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Like, I just feel like I'm in my me era. I'm in a good era. And I look forward to the future and I am so happy and thankful that I have the opportunity to bring you guys along with me. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye you guys.